Hey, it's H here, and on today's video we're checking out Phantom. Now I did a Phantom video before, and that had all the Elliott Wave counts before this correction here. Um, and I think I had some scenarios for this as well. But now we're going to take a look closer what has been happening since. And if you want to know the full count of Phantom I had, you can check out the previous video. Now, there was two counts. I had a bull count and bear count. Um, whether uh, my count ended up in here as a three wave or third primary. Let me see if I have it here. That's not it. It's here. So the third primary, and we're looking for the fourth. Or if it's the full fifth of primary. Um, that is not certain yet. But um, what I have here is a pitchfork. Then from here to this alleged one too. That has been broken uh, properly now and whatever here or this is happening might not be ha uh, part of this structure, individual structure anymore. So it could be like it might be likely to have a, um, this scenario playing out where we topped in primary five. But let's take a closer look at what we are seeing here on the charts right now. Okay, so here was the bull case that I presented before, where we were around here looking for pullback for wave two. Now we can see that the wave one start was here, and we've gone wicked through it. So this bull scenario is no longer in uh, valid. So it is invalid. So we don't really need it at all. So now currently I can see only bearish scenario where we're going down. Let's take a look at let's take a look at this one first. So basically what we're looking here is uh, three way move down here. I marked it as WXY as this looks three wave and this pullback here didn't come up to 0.9 or 0.854 so that's why it's WXY and not ABC um, and again here would be five waves oh sorry three waves and then normal ABC up here and then looking like one three wave move then again three wave move here is a flat, here is another flat, and this is either some kind of five way move or three way move. Now, what I'm thinking it is three way move is here, is just you can label five waves here, and you can check out the retracement, it's not close to the 0.9, so it is valid for a zigzag now th there's some problems here this this impulse wave down here um, is completely valid but the let's check out closer but it doesn't really look that good although it is invalid for sure the structure just looks like that one is really large we can check out. Uh, it's not quite. Okay, about there. You see that a third is the largest one for sure, um, and four and one is not overlapping, so it's all good there. Now there's another on the C wave for the Y. We can see not too much of retracement back here upside. And that is why this is a bit tricky to count as well. Um, I placed one, two here, then sub waves one, two, micro, three, four, five in the third, fourth, fifth, and that 
has a possibility of reverse. Um, there's bullish divergence here. Um, and this would suggest again some kind of a local bottom here. And sorry, local bottom as in three wave. And then you have the bullish divergence for the fifth, and then you go up. That is definitely a possibility, and with checking out this here, this Fibonacci extension from the start of this Y wave here, down here, and today towards the C. So it is put something like this. And we're really close to the one to one here. Now, do we have anything, any volume here? Yeah, there's a large volume node here. And if we drop below here, it looks <laughs> kind of dangerous to be honest. Next one really, real support is here, two, 2618. And this is only for, yeah, this was trying to locate the third, basically for this last C leg. Um, I'm just checking, I was just checking if the third wave here of sub minuet, minuet uh, was larger than one and yes it was. So this is possible here, ending here, but it's not certain again. Um, but yeah, that is something to look out for, definitely. No, uh, I had something else here as well. Something like this. So we had these moves. So A, B, or W and X. And then we had this kind of move. This was from my previous video as well. Um, but now looking at it, I can see this it looks like a three wave move here, up to here. So what this can be is a connector that is aiming downwards, um, which is pretty bearish, something like that. Um, we would be aiming to the one to one, so around 0.8. And this is probably just around that volume bump here. Yeah, just around it. Um, but we would need to look for this to continue as this is not really a good um, five way move that I can see unless this is just the first wave and then now we're looking for three waves back up here and then create another five waves and we would have some kind of zigzag here. No, no, that's not zigzag. It's it's going to be a doubly xy just because of the sub structure here. But yeah, um, I don't really have too much info on this. Unfortunately, we would still be looking for bullish scenario. We would be looking for some kind of uh, structure that brings us upwards and three ways down. Now. Looking at this, this can be one, two, three, four, five, and maybe three back, one, two, three, four, five, and now creating some kind of um, pullback again. And to me, this looks like a diagonal in process, or if it's not a diagonal, then it's one, two, and another one, two of smaller degree. And obviously the invalidation point for this bullish structure is down here as nothing can correct down below this wave two. Now, of course, we could argue that this is, if we can find three waves here, three waves here, that we would be creating an ABC here and which would invalidate this too so if you would be to tr 
trade this the real stop loss would be below this one here or the start of one but at the moment this looks like a try uh, a diagonal or one two one two I think that's going to do it for, for this video thanks for watching and uh, see you on the next one